Honey, let's get into this hair though. Uh, hey girl, welcome back to my channel. We are going to, uh, I'm going to show you guys how I lay my wigs. This is a closure wig. If you want to see how I get my, my hair to be flat and laid, then keep on watching this video. And uh, this hair is from Ally Pearl. This is a 5x5 five five closure wig from Ally Pearl. And it is a pre-plucked human hair wig it is 30 inches 250 density in it and i got the small cap size and i got it in a regular regular um color and yeah so first i'm going to show you guys how i bleach the knives this is fresh out of the package out the box i didn't do anything i didn't wash it or anything this is how it looks right when i got it and i'm just mixing the 40 um, developer and some powder and you really want to take your time with this because you want it to be a thick consistency like a toothpaste you don't want it to be runny because you don't want it to run through the lace and get on the hair and dye bleach the hair you don't want that to happen so that's why you want it to be a really thick consistency to where it does not where it's not so liquidy and running through the hair so i just add more as i need it and i just keep going from there and go ahead and subscribe if you're not already this is hair series if you're new to my channel and y'all already know if you ain't new to my channel then hair series be lit and i be giving y'all all the tea and i be giving y'all all everything on hair hair reviews and how to lay them wigs because even in the middle of a pandemic, them wigs need to be on flat. And yeah, I'm about to just show y'all how to hook it up. This is also my first closure wig, by the way. I've never had a closure before. This is my first time doing a closure. And I think I did pretty good. I'm used to wearing frontals. I was a little scared because I've never had a closure before. And I be feeling like, I don't know. Like, closures have really stepped their game up, though, to be honest. Because when I first started wearing wigs, frontals, which was like 2000, maybe 17, 2018, closures didn't look like how they look now. And you could really tell if it was a closure or not. But now, closures done really came up. They didn't really step their game up. And you can make a closure look like a frontal. So, I was like, I think I can do it. See, y'all see, I'm, it's a thick consistency where if I pick it up, it's not, it's not, that's how you test it to make sure that it's thick enough. When you pick it up, if it doesn't, you know, just run back into the bow. And I'm using Gotta Be Free Spray just to get all the flyaways out of the way. So when I do bleach the knots on the um, closure, it is not, the hair isn't in the way. This is just to get the hair out of the way. And yeah, closures have really came up. So I, I I'm, I'm, I'm really feeling it. But I got this hair from Allie Pearl. And first, I want to say that Ally Pearl is a really great company off of AliExpress. And they also have their own, like, website. They have really great quality hair. I can definitely say that. This is, like, my second or third time ordering from Ally Pearl. This is not my first um, rodeo with Ally Pearl. And I've had good experiences with with them and i really like their hair i don't know why it's taking me so long to get all these flyaways out of the way but yes i ordered this hair it comes in about like three to four days four or five days they have really good quick shipping they are super sweet there really great customer service i love them and now I'm just placing the bleach all over the closure. Just bleaching the knots. And honestly, I do not have a like set time. I probably like sit on there for probably like 7 to 10 minutes. Probably like 10 minutes 
probably like 10 minutes and then I'll just look at it. I just go by what I can see. You're trying to get those little black knots from where the hair is knotted onto the lace. You're trying to get those to be invisible or not even invisible. You're trying to disguise them, bleaching them, turning them brown so they're not, so you don't have like a lot of black, like little, you know, black little beads in your, in your hair. That's why you bleach your knots. Um, but this is a pre-bleach. It's like a pre-plucked wig. So you really don't have to do this. But I'm extra and I want my parts. And I want it to really look really real and like scalp. So I bleached the, I bleached the knots myself. I don't think the I way. I don't know if this is pre-bleach. But I mean it looks good. It didn't look bad. Let me not lie. But it is pre-plucked. It is pre-plucked. And like I said, the knots weren't even like terrible. They really weren't. But me personally, but just because I'm used to doing wigs and because I like wigs and I like my hair to be lay and I'm going to do whatever I have to do. I'm going to take all the necessary steps to make sure that my hair is looking as laid and realistic as possible. So I went ahead and bleached knots. So usually... I just look and I, that's, that's how I tell when, when I can tell, you know, when I'm going to rinse off the bleach. As you can see, it is a little orangey, like brassy. So to cancel out that brassy orange tone, I use purple shampoo to cancel out that orange. Even though I don't think it looks all bad when you have black hair, I think it makes it look a little bit more, more realistic. But you don't want it to be like too orange. And I use purple shimmer lights shampoo. That's the brand Shimmer Light. And yeah. Now this is what it looks like afterwards. Can y'all tell the difference? I can. It looks good. Dun dun. Now we're at like the, like, this is like really like the most important part, plucking. Because honestly, this is what's gonna make it look realistic and what's gonna make it look natural this is what it looks like with me not doing anything to it like i said this is a pre-plucked wig so it does look good for it like it looks great they are so fucking rude <laughs> but yes it looks great but y'all know me i'm extra like i gotta go in and do my own little tweaks regardless i'm going to customize and do my own thing regardless no matter what i buy because that's just me but if you are somebody that is a beginner then you don't even have to if you don't want to but me personally i'm gonna go in there and i'm gonna Pluck some more. If you want to see an in-depth tutorial on how I pluck, I do have that on my channel, my plucking technique, and it's very detailed. And I tell you guys how I pluck. Nothing has really changed 
I'm just going, you know, no particular way. You're just moving all around because you don't want to pluck in one area too much because that's how you get a bob spot, sis. And um, I don't really think that that's the look that we're going for. But if that's what you want, you know, do you, sis. You know, if that's what you like. But I don't really want that. So, not this time. But, yeah more in-depth tutorial i will link that video in the description box if you want to check out how i pluck my plucking technique plucking is very important if you want your wig to look realistic i think this wig is very beginner friendly because it is pre-plugged the knots aren't crazy and it's just really efficient and you really don't have to do much work to it that's the good thing about a pre-plucked wig is that you don't have to really do much work to it and this is a 30 inch wig you don't have to get 30 inches they have all different lengths so if you don't want to get something so long that's 30 inches then of course you don't have to i paid how much this wig was, girl? Okay, I paid $352, which honestly is not bad at all for a 30 inch wig. That's not bad at all. And like I said, it's body wave, 5x5 closure. And I love this wig, honestly. This is going to be a staple in my wig collection. Also, very important tip, pluck your part, sis. You don't want, you want it to be flat. You want your wig to lay flat. So you wanna, you wanna pluck where that part is. So that'll, if the hair is thinner, so that's gonna make it lay more flat. I did also put a rinse on this hair, a jet black rinse. Very important key tip, but yes, I really do love this hair and i love the quality i love how it came super fast shipping i think i paid a good price for it and that was that was a 30 inch so if you get something that's not a 30 inch it's not going to be 352 of course so they are super affordable look at the ending result that looks great i'm i didn't finish plucking on that side but you see the difference between what i did and you know me not fully plucking it yet now I am doing the, I'm just putting on a ball cap and I'm using the Eben Tinted Lace. I spray this, it's already some on there because this is a ball cap that I've already been using, but it's already some on the ball cap. So I just think this is, I like it so much better than putting on foundation or concealer on my ball cap because foundation is liquidy, it's just, it's a mess, it's messy. So I like the spray because I don't have to, you know, touch it or put, you know, put it on that, on a beauty blender. Put it, you know, that's just doing a lot. But I like it. I could just spray it on. And I also spray it on the lace as well. I spray it on the inside of the wig on the lace as well. And now I'm just taking Gotta Be Glue. This is a glueless method. No lace glue. No lace glue. I'm using Gotta Be Gel. The clear kind, I like the clear kind to lay my wigs. I really don't like the yellow tube, the white one. I don't like that. I like the clear and the black tube the best. And I just put it where the closure starts and stops. I just put it along my hairline, kind of tap it in. I don't want it to be like too thick. And I just put it right, right in front of my hairline. And it's so fast. I love, love, love closures because I can literally pop it on in one second. I did just wash this hair. So I feel like when you wash lace, it's a little harder to put it on that first time because it just got washed. You know, it's not no extra product or anything like that. So yeah, it did give me a little hard time because this, it was, this is my first time putting it on. I had just washed it and stuff. But yeah. This wasn't my first time putting it on, but this was my first time putting it on after I had washed it. But, yeah. I put it on, and I used a rat tooth comb to really 
lay it down and really melt it into my skin. That is how I get the edges to lay down flat using a rat tail comb that it does not have any product on it. Make sure the end of the rat tail comb is clean. If it's dirty, it's going to get product all over your lace. So you want to make sure that it's clean. I had already cut out like baby hairs. So after I wash my hair, I just find where my old baby hairs are. And I just take the baby hairs from right in front of the hairline and I just you know, swoop them down, do my baby hairs. Gotta be glue clear gel again to do my baby hairs. Yes, and it's just so quick. It's so much quicker than a frontal. Like, a frontal, we will be here all day. I just feel like a frontal took so long and it's so high maintenance. A closure, you just pop that bad boy on. And sometimes you don't even have to glue it down i always glue mine down if i'm really going somewhere but if i'm just running up to go get some food real quick i just slap it on <laughs> and then when i get out let snatch it right on out like that's what i love i love closures because you can just pop them out and even when i do have to go somewhere i can literally just pop this front this uh clothes this wig on in like five minutes a frontal it takes me like 30 minutes and you're trying to get the size Oh my god, it takes so long. So how many closures is where it's at? I cannot believe. Why well, y'all didn't tell me? Closures was popping like this. Like they don't really came up. Like I said, when I when I first started with wigs, closures wasn't really. They definitely did not look how they look now. So yeah, why well, y'all didn't let me know that they didn't upgrade it? Now I love closures. I'll probably never wear a frontal again. Like y'all, if y'all haven't seen my why frontals are canceled video, go watch that video. Why I don't like frontals no more and why they are canceled. They really canceled now that I done got in the closure game. Now that I'm in the closure game. Oh, it's up. It's up now. I cannot wait to get another closure. Now working on my, we're getting this wig on flat flat, okay? Kara Kara wax stick. Get you a wax stick. I got mine. I think I got this Kara Kara. This one is from Amazon. I believe I bought it off Amazon. They might. No, no, no. I got it off in the beauty supply. From the beauty supply. I'm lying to y'all. It's at the beauty supply. Kara Kara wax stick, and this is how I get my part to lay flat. And like I said, even in the middle of a pandemic, sis, that's no excuse. Our wig still gotta be on flat. And a hot comb. A hot comb is an essential, okay? An essential. Get you a hot comb if you're gonna be wearing your wigs. Cause a hot comb is gonna lay that bad boy down. Okay, and I like the pushback look, like where it's kind of pushed back at the front when I have a middle part. So that's what I'm doing right here. You just back care, care wax stick, any a wax stick with that hot comb combo is, is the GOAT. It's undefeated when it comes to laying your wig down flat. A wax stick. See, look how my, look how my hair looks. It looks so freaking good already. And I just run that hot comb through it. And then I go in for extra flatness. Another tool is a wand curler. Like, that's the ghetto way. If you ain't really, if you ain't really got no money for no hot comb, or you can't really get no hot comb yet, the ghetto way. Get you a wand curl. Because a wand curl gonna get it flat too. So I always go after my, after I go in with a hot comb, I do my wand curl after it it just make it even more flat then i'm taking some concealer and i'm just getting that part right you do not use too much concealer because it's gonna be too much it's the part is gonna look way too fake so i really like to blend it in i took a makeup wipe and i really blended it in and really because um concealer foundation really sticks on the lace for real for real so you gotta be careful with that don't use too much only put it in a in like in a certain part and i'm just going back over it again you know but yeah only put the concealer like a little a little goes a long way and really make sure you really blend it in because you don't want it to stand out too much you don't want it to look too fake and bam, sis, that looks good. 
Sorry if my deodorant offends anybody. <laughs> I did have on a lot of deodorant, but I was about to go. I was gonna be outside where I was about to go. So you know, you gotta put on, you gotta make sure. I know I wasn't musty though. So yeah, but I use this anti-frizz spray and it makes my hair super shiny. It's by Shea Moisture. It's really for like natural hair, but baby, this is my natural hair, period. But yes, I love this. It makes the hair so shiny and it's anti-frizz. So I just always just spray it and yes, it looks, oh, I love this wig, y'all. This is my favorite wig. It looks so good. I love black hair on me. 30 inches. I'm about like five, six and a half. Maybe five. I'm probably like five, six and a half, five, seven. Girl, I don't know. But, and this is where it goes on me, past my waist. It looks so good. Yes. That black hair and red lip combo is undefeated. Please subscribe to my channel. I am almost at 100 subscribers. To everyone you know to subscribe, give me a big thumbs up if you like this video and you want to see more hair reviews. Shout out to Allie Pearl for this bomb ass wig. And if you do get this wig, do not forget to tag me, Lemonade Jade on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. Subscribe, leave me some comments, and go get this bomb ass wig. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe. Bye.